Hello everyone, my name is Cherie. This is my June 2023 update video. I just got back from the library. I got this CD called Caribbean Playground. It's a Putumayo disc. I love Putumayo. They uh, source music from all over and put them into, you know, specified country compilations. Um, so I can't wait to listen to this. Uh, it's Caribbean American Heritage Month. It's also LGBTQ Pride Month. So those are my two focuses in June. Um, other music I've been listening to is Rihanna. She's from Barbados. Harry Belafonte, who is from Jamaica. He has a lovely voice. I loved his songs. I, I was so impressed. Um, I love Rihanna's voice too. I was also listening to Charday, who I thought was Jamaican, but she's really English. Um, she had lived in Jamaica for a few years, so that's why I was confused. Other than that, usually I try to go eat at a restaurant or go see something like some kind of cultural exhibit. There are no Caribbean restaurants close to where I live. I'd probably have to go deep into Silicon Valley to find one. And as far as Pride Month goes, I was thinking of going to the Pride Parade and taking some footage there, but it just didn't work out with my schedule. So basically I'm watching DVDs, watching movies about the Caribbean and about Pride. So I, I have about five or six left on my Caribbean to watch list. And then I have about a dozen Pride DVDs that I checked out from the library. I'd gone online to uh, research, uh, you know, recommended movies. And these were all recommended, but I just, I have a week left of June I don't think I'm going to be able to get to everything. So I'm going to show you these. Um, if there are any there that you specifically think I should watch, let me know in the comments. All right. So we got Bad Education, The Boys in the Band, Death in Venice, Fellini Satyricon, I hope I pronounced that right. Fox and his friends. God's own country. The kids are all right. My beautiful laundrette. Orlando. Pride. And weekend. Um, yeah, so the the one that I know I'm going to watch is Orlando because I've heard about that movie for forever and uh, it's a fantasy and I'm really looking forward to that. All right, so let's get on to books and reading. Um, I am reading two poetry books. I just got these from Amazon from Jamaican author I.J. King and I.J. King was one of the first channels that I subscribed to and she subscribed back to me when I first started this channel and did my first NaNoWriMo. So I honestly don't read much poetry. I mean, I took a poetry class or we had to do a poetry unit way back in elementary school. I remember we had to memorize a poem and, and uh, perform it. But other than that, I just haven't done much with poetry. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, another book I have from the library this month is super women and it's you know about it's it's just really like a a college paper dissertation type book um so i might not finish it um the first chapter is about wonder woman so you know of course i'm reading all of that i love wonder woman but it's just it's kind of just dense and there aren't a lot of pictures and when i <laughs> when i See a book about super women I want to see all the costumes I want to know all their powers you know this is more like you know how they fit in culturally with our society and <laughs> how things have progressed over time so um, yeah I mean it's interesting but it's I, I don't know if I'll finish it um, so I had another table read it went really well and um, it, I need one more pass I need like a third draft before I say okay I'm gonna lock this and now I'm gonna do the budget and blah 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 um, I'm going to give myself till the end of July to finish that. Things are getting pushed back a little for a couple of reasons. So the writer's strike, um, basically 
I can't put any information out there about my movie if I'm trying to get investors or people interested because if anyone is tangentially involved with any of the uh, WGA signatories, then that would be a bad thing if I were talking to them while the strike is going on. So I have to wait till the strike is over. So basically, I, I won't be able to do um, put out my crowdfunding campaign until the strike is over. It's going to take me a long time anyway to do the budget and stuff. But um, I was hoping, you know, to start shooting at the end of the fall. Now it looks like it's going to be winter. Plus, a lot of my actors uh, can't really do it in the, the November, December time. So it looks like beginning of January 2024 is when we're going to start shooting. Um, the, the Writers Guild strike, from what I've been hearing through the grapevine, could go as long as September, October. So I won't be putting anything out until then, and I'm not going to do any videos where I talk about, you know, my logline or the themes or, you know, the, uh, the story until that's all resolved. But I've got some other videos I want to do in the meantime. You know, I still have to do the screenplay uh, and analysis video on the um, nominated best original scripts for this year. I'm going to do a video of my top five favorite films of all time. Last year, someone had asked me what they were, and I was like, you know, I could come up with my top three, and then quickly thereafter my, my fourth one, but like I didn't know what my number five was. So I thought about it for a long time, looked at my DVD collection, um, made lists and stuff, and, and now I've got a pretty solid number five. So I'm going to do a video about my top five. Um, let's see, and let's go over some books now. Okay, so as I'm prepping for this first feature, um, I'm going to go back. I have these books. I'm probably not going to keep them after I go through them, but The Introduction to Film and Understanding Movies, uh, these were books that were given to me, although I think I actually studied this in one of my first early film classes. But just going back through that stuff, it's good to remember those kind of things when you're doing a production. Also, Greenlighting Yourself. This is the book um, I want to go through, and I might do videos on it as I'm going through it with my project. And, and maybe, since I don't want to put a lot of stuff out there right now about my project, I'll just make up this big, long compilation video and how, how what I've learned in here uh, helped me with my project. And then I was communicating with um, one of the booktubers who also does some script writing, and had mentioned how, you know, I was thinking about doing a series on, you know, screenwriting books. And she was like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. If, but that's a big challenge. That would take a long time. Um, but I'm thinking about, again, relating to this project, going back through those books and seeing if I've got all the elements. Um, of course, I have to finish this this tome, <laughs> genres. Uh, and then I have, like, all of these... Save the Cat books. Something Startling Happens is the one that kind of goes along with the Beat by Beat uh, book. And what else do I have? Oh, someone gave me this, the Coffee Break Screenwriter. Selling Your Story in 60 Seconds. I wonder if that's just about creating like elevator pitches or log lines. See, I don't even know. Um, how to Write a Movie in 21 Days. Not sure if I can apply that to the one right now since I've already kind of written it. But And then, oh, this is a great book. How to Be the Hollywood Script Reader. Now, this is older. I'm assuming a lot of this stuff would still apply, but this is a really cool book. I, I really enjoyed this when I read it a long time ago. All right, so those are the books that I will be going through in preparation for my movie. Um, and, okay, so I opened my email this morning, and I got my first uh, collaboration offer. So there's a company that wants to collaborate with my channel. It's not, um, it's not like a sponsoring the video. It's, there's no money exchange, but there's like, I can use their product. <laughs> <laughs> see how I like it and then talk about it. So um, I'm going to investigate it a little before I say yes or no. And but that was nice, you know. 
that because I'm I'm not a huge channel, and it's just nice that a company that deals with filmmaking reached out to me. Okay, and then um, there was something else. What was it? Give me one second. Oh yeah, and then this was a fun thing. I received an email from myself. <laughs> there is this program called Future Me, and last year I wrote myself a letter, and I just I wanted to read that out loud right now. <laughs> so here we go. This is my letter from Future Me. Dear Future Me, hello. I hope all is well. By this time, you should have everything out of your storage locker in LA. Yes, yes, I did that last year. After last year's table read, Frozen Walt should be finished. Frozen Walt is not finished. It's uh, almost finished. Okay, just waiting to hear back from my co-writer about that. Have you shot your first feature yet? <laughs> Either the Union piece or Highway 17. No, but I'm prepping it right now. <laughs> have you sold either Dumpster Donna or Frankie Chase? Uh, I have sold neither of those screenplays, but I would love to. Is your debt paid off? My credit card is all paid off. Anyway, hope you're healthy. Hope the COVID weight gain is gone. No, no. And hope you have a passport and are planning some fun traveling abroad. I have not renewed my passport. I uh, I need to make an appointment to go down and, and take care of that. Um, it's one of those things where I want to go in person because of my whole one name thing and I just want to make sure it goes through easily and because of that you know it's one of those things I've been putting off because it's just always a hassle. Um, that's what happens when you try to be different and change your name to just one one name. And that's it. And I'm going to write myself another future me letter that I will receive in a year. And hopefully next year I can say, yes, I have finished my uh, first feature. All right. So uh, that's it. Hope you're doing well. I uh, hope you've been watching some really good stuff and I hope you have a good summer and I will see you in the next video.